The US-backed anti-government mobs were back in the streets of Bangkok again last night. Added to their long list of complaints is now also the political crisis in neighboring Myanmar. And I've pointed out many times before that the common denominator here between the mobs in Hong Kong, here in Thailand, and now in neighboring Myanmar is not a love for democracy, but actually U.S. backing and support. This is part of the U.S. trying to achieve primacy in the Indo-Pacific region by surrounding China with either destabilized nations or nations with governments that are hostile towards China. Now, about the protests in Bangkok last night specifically, this is a mob that claims it stands for democracy and the rule of law. This is a mob that constantly accuses the current Thai government and the constitutional monarchy of seeing themselves as being above the law, even though they have not really shown any evidence of that. And yet, this is a mob that every time it comes out demonstrates that it is the one that actually sees itself as being above the law. First of all, they were gathering in a public space prohibited by law because of a resurgence of COVID-19. They vandalized public property. This is something they do every time they come out into the streets. Here is a man spray painting a public bus. That's going to have to be cleaned off. Here is a woman spray painting on public railing. And here is staff cleaning it up. Now, whether the staff is being paid by Thai tax money or by a private company. Either way, this is money in the Thai economy being wasted because of the behavior of this mob every time it comes out into the streets. And here is that same woman being detained by the police. And the Thai police actually arrested several protesters last night. These detained protesters were going to be processed at a local police station maybe fined and then let on their merry way. But that wasn't good enough for the protest leaders. They demanded that those protesters be released immediately and without consequence. And not only that, they told the police that if they weren't immediately released, they would storm the police station. So this is illegal criminal act on top of illegal criminal act. This is, again, this is a, a su supposedly pro-democracy movement that accuses the government and the monarchy of being above the law that is demonstrating that they see themselves as being above the law. They refuse to be held accountable for blatantly criminal actions. The police didn't arrest these protesters because of political reasons. They arrested them for doing crimes that are illegal everywhere in the world. You are not allowed to vandalize public property. If someone went to the protester's house and spray painted on their wall, the first thing they would do is call the police for that person to be arrested, fined, held accountable for what they did. But the protesters do not see it the other way around. They do not see how they are bound by the law. A pro-democracy movement that refuses to recognize the rule of law is not actually a pro-democracy movement. It's just mob rule. And mob rule is just another form of dictatorship. So here is an anti-dictatorship protest that is a dictatorship in and of itself. I want to warn people that this is something that is common with all US-backed movements. We saw the exact same thing in Hong Kong. We will see the exact same thing in Myanmar. We saw the same thing in Ukraine in 2013 and 2014. And we saw the exact same thing in 2011 all across the Arab world. If Thailand does not fix its NGO laws, if it does not retake its information space and do something about the fundamental problems that are driving these protests, uh, allowing foreign interference to come in and disrupt Thai political stability, then this problem will get worse over time. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Please think about subscribing to my channel. It helps the channel grow and it's totally free to do. Please check the video description for links as well as to ways you can help support my work, like by becoming a Patreon member. And as always, Thank you for watching.